and I hope all of y'all are doing good. As you can see, I'm the most happiest kid right now because what we have here is the next most beautiful adult focused LEGO set launched by LEGO, which is the NASA Space Shuttle Discovery LEGO set. Yeah, and when I received the message from the LEGO Malaysia team, I did not expect that this set would be this big and the best part is it comes together with the Hubble Space Telescope. I'm so so glad that LEGO launched this set because they worked so well on the design and not only that, they also collaborated with NASA and European Space Agency for the purpose of inspiring the young generations to show their love and passion towards space science and space technology. Alright, let's start the review now. Okay, on the bottom left corner of the box, we have the LEGO's logo, age, set number and the number of pieces. As you see, this is an adult focused LEGO set. The set number of this box is 10283 and it comes with 2354 pieces which are sufficient enough to build the Space Shuttle and the Hubble Space Telescope. On the bottom right corner, we have the Space Shuttle program logo. The occasion of the release of this set is to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the first Space Shuttle program which was launched on 20th April 1981. As you see, there are two dates on this logo which is 1981 and 2011. Those dates mark the beginning and the end of the Space Shuttle program. Okay, on the back of the box now we have some images of the Space Shuttle and also real image of Space Shuttle and also the Hubble Space Telescope in space and not only that we also have the size of the Space Shuttle which is 54 cm long and 34 cm width. Okay, the LIGO pieces comes in a few packages. So, yeah. And inside the huge box, there's another white small box. So let's open that. Two. So that's it. Nothing else inside. Okay, nothing else. And inside this white box, there is some. I think inside the two box, LIGO pieces. Okay, yeah, there's a guideline book on how to assemble the LEGO pieces. Also, it has NASA stickers and satellite stickers. Yeah, okay. Okay, this manual book comes with 318 pages starting from the introduction of the Space Shuttle program until the number of pieces that we have in the LEGO set. And not only that, this manual book comes with the detailed assembly instruction to enable us to assemble the whole set easily. 
and besides that we also have some informative corner here and there in the book to enable us to learn about the space shuttle program and also some space flights okay guys let's start the review now starting off with this hubble space telescope that is beautifully built over here first we have this small plug that displays some information about hubble space telescope like launch date launch mass velocity and the deploy altitude of this telescope all right and there are some details on this telescope that need to be explained first is the solar panel the solar panels are actually made up of gold foil sheets and they come as a separate piece in the lego set right and you can adjust them by rotating it up and down like this and next we have this aperture door in front here that opens and closes to avoid the light from the sun entering inside this telescope and damaging it okay and next we have this communication antenna that uses to send data back to the earth and if you see this entire body of this telescope is made up of shiny metallic silver lego pieces and you have to be very very careful when handling this telescope if you fail to handle it very careful there might be scratches on the body you know because this is very shiny surface and yeah and lastly we have this nasa and esa like uh, logo here this is not a sticker but it's a lego piece you know and if you don't want to keep it inside the space shuttle and you want to display it like separately we have a stand here and this is the first thing that you actually get to build when you get the lego set yeah okay now we can take this telescope off the stand so that we can put this inside the space shuttle all right okay we have the space shuttle here and when we open this payload bay we have a cannon arm this is known as cannon arm okay and then we have a T stand here to support the telescope right above the payload bay and then we also have a hooked shaped lego piece to attach to the cannon arm right so usually in real telescope this solar panels will unroll from the middle part but since we can't do it here lego have given us the substitute for the solar panels which is known as the golden barbell which also resembles the dolt solar panels and we will attach it to this part and fold it against the body Yeah, something like this and then we'll attach this inside the payload bay there's a section for it perfect this is just too beautiful and i can already imagine this floating in the space right yeah and also if you want to keep this telescope inside the space shuttle you have to remove certain parts from this telescope here first we have to remove the scanner arm and then this hook followed by this golden barbell okay because the reason why i'm removing all this is because inside the payload bay they have given us a limited space so we cannot keep all of this inside so yeah and okay, that's it and then we remove this t-shaped stand and then you have to turn it around like this turn it around and, and keep it inside this payload bay here okay yeah that fits so perfect and then we keep this carrot arm here to fix it and then we can close the payload bay now okay that's about it okay guys now let's have a look at this space shuttle 
that is beautifully built over here. First, we have this plug that displays some information about the space shuttle discovery, like wingspan, launches, active orbital velocity, maximum altitude, Earth orbit, and the time in space. These are the informations that displays here. So this space shuttle is no longer in operation after March 9, 2011. And this Lego set, right, this Lego set space shuttle has a lot of small details that actually recreates the technical equipment that are presented on the real space shuttle. So let's have a look now. Okay, for example, at the nose cone, you can see the RCS block, which is used to maneuver the space shuttle while it's in the orbit. Next, you can see the windshield here and also some stickers at the side. And this stickers comes as a separate piece in the Lego set. Next, we take off this upper deck so that we can see the crew compartment. So there's one chair here and some lights and buttons here and there. There's also a crew hatch which uses the airlock and it enables the astronauts to go into the payload bay via this. When we remove the roof of the upper deck, you can see four tiny chairs and there are some control panels for the crew to control the shuttle during flight. There's also a tiny window at the back here which you can use to see the payload bay. Okay, here on the side, we also have another crew hatch which is used by the astronauts when they go for EVA, which means extravehicular activities. Okay guys, now let's move on to the biggest section of the space shuttle which is the payload bay, right? So when we open this payload bay, you can see the solar radiation panels at the side here which is used to dissipate all the heat from the sun that accumulates here. These are actually shiny stickers that comes as a separate piece in the Lego set and it's really fun to stick all of them one by one. Yeah, so next we have communication antenna over here that is used to communicate with Earth. Next we have video camera here that is used for monitoring the work done inside this payload bay and also the payload inside here. Okay, and last one we have this scanner arm or also known as robot arm which is used to maneuver the payload outside of the space shuttle. Okay, let's move to the back part now. You can see a few more video cameras, a United States flag and also the suspension system for the landing gear. And that's all for the payload bay. Okay guys, now let's move on to the most interesting part of the shuttle which is the engines, okay? So these are the main three engines of the shuttle, also known as the RS-25 engines. These engines is used for ascent only and for maneuvering in orbit, they use these OMS ports right here on the side which is also used when coming back to Earth. The main engines do not turn on when the shuttle reach the orbit, okay? So, and when you twist this main engine, you can see this aileron swing up and down alternatively and this elevons can work as elevator and also as aileron as well. And right Okay, now above all this, we have this vertical stabilizer and also a split rudder that can split symmetrically. The function of the split rudder is actually it acts as a speed breaker where it creates a lot of friction to slow down the space shuttle when it's approaching the ground. And the last part is this body flap which can go up and down to adjust the pitch of the space shuttle when it's coming back to Earth. So now when I push this body flap forward, it will deploy the landing gear. Yeah. And even if I push and pull the body flap as much as I want, it will not retract the landing gear back. And I feel this is so amazing because even on the real space shuttle, once the landing gear is deployed, you have to land and you cannot retract it back. So this is like really amazing. And lastly, we have this stand that locks the space shuttle in its landing position. This is not taking off position. This is actually a landing position, right? I took about four days to assemble this whole space shuttle, including the telescope. So each day I spent about two to three hours assembling them. Uh, the building process was really, really good and was so amazing because this is my first Anson experience of assembling a Lego set in my adulthood. So thanks to Lego and also thanks to my mom and my brother for helping me out. So during this four days time, I get to strengthen my bond with them by sharing some kind of stories, jokes and, you know, life related advices with them. So, you know, we are all busy with our daily lifestyle, so we don't really get the time to spend with them. 
and this assembling you know assembling this whole lego set itself will be a very good family bonding time activity as you get to sit around in a table and assemble it together so yeah and not just as a lego fan but also a fan of space exploration and space technology i felt really really inspired assembling this lego set because my imagination really went out of the world as i imagine myself sitting in the school compartment handling this space shuttle you know and this lego set itself is a very good booster for me and also a very good motivation for me to walk in my dream path with more confidence and definitely gave me the right mindset to reach for the stars no matter what lego is doing an amazing job to inspire the young generations to dream big and to love space science right you must learn space science in a fun way and also get some kind of hands on experience before you learn it via formal education this is to see whether it aligns with your passion or not and also it gives you an opportunity to boost your passion towards space science and space exploration i personally love this set because it comes with a lot of functions and also an option for me to display so if you are a fan of lego and also a fan of space then this set fits you perfectly what are you waiting for go and get your set now at any online lego stores and enjoy i hope you enjoyed my video thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video